Hi guys, welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to be doing a run of this week's featured Grandmaster, which is the Devil's Lair. I'm going to be doing it on Titan. I've already done the Warlock run, so if you're interested in seeing that, check check that video out. This, however, as I've said, is on the Titan. Now, I'm using roughly the same weapons. We're switching uh, Storm Chaser for the... the it came out a couple of seasons ago. I don't think I've... I don't actually think I've used this for any kind of content. The Sail Spy Pitch Glass came out in Season of Plunder. Very good linear fusion rifle. Uh, I noticed it done... Uh, you'll see it for yourself. It does big damage, even though it's only firing one shot. For some reason, I felt like it was doing more damage than the, the Storm Chaser. And... For our exotic piece of armor, we are using Heart of Innermost Light because we want to get our, same as the Warlock, we want to get our abilities back as fast as possible. So, right off the bat, we went, we always go up, up the left hand side just to avoid uh, all the ads. Now, what I'm doing now is because sometimes this overload kind of disappears, it doesn't come into like an optimal position. So, I'm just trying to clear some of the, the enemies that he might be fighting against so that he brings his attention to me and I want him out, out in the open I don't really want him in a position where he can teleport back into cover so you can see he's just having a look at me he will teleport once once he sees me he will start teleporting to our right and uh, that, that allows us allows us to take him down pretty easily now you'll see a kind of a difference with uh, the Titan is when you throw your grenade you see I've got my grenade back now. Uh, when you throw your grenade, when you keep damaging that ad, it will keep creating uh, ionic traces. So getting your ability back, abilities back is quite quite straightforward. I've opted for the thruster uh, instead of the barricade so that I can immediately... With, with Heart of an Most Light, basically what it does is when you, when you use your one ability using a second ability increases the recharge rate of your abilities what you know so you use your grenade your grenade uh, uh, increases the recharge of your class ability and then you know you kind of so when you use your class ability your grenade comes back faster but it also does more damage so you kind of want to use them in conjunction with each other so when i throw my grenade and then I use my thruster. I'll get start getting my grenade back faster, but it will also my grenade will also do more damage because of the because of the perk. So as you can see there, that barrier did not last very long at all. This 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 linear fusion rifle is very very good. It's an overload weapon for this nightfall, and I wanted to see because I'm going to be honest, the overcharge not overload the overcharge weapons. I. I I'm still like, what is the point in all of that? But, uh, very good option. And because it's a single fire and I, I can control it's, it's, the shots easier because it's a single fire, it actually really helped with uh, the, the walker. I managed to use my, my linear fusion rifle on the walker, which, which allowed me to take it down a lot faster. Now... The one thing I will say is if you're doing this on the Titan, it's not more difficult than the Warlock, but what you have to, and I, listen, I don't have to tell you guys this, you guys know, you have less kind of ways to to uh, regenerate your health. Now, you probably could put on something, uh, we, we, we already do have... Uh, on more class item, we already do have, sorry, leg armor, we have recuperation, so whenever I make orbs, when I pick them up, I get health back, and because we're still using, which I used for the Warlock run, uh, tarnished metal with shoot to loot, I can shoot orbs, so if I produce them, I don't actually have to go out and get them, I can shoot them, and that'll give me health. So that is going to be our primary way of healing, <laughs> I say our primary way of healing, another way to heal is to not get hit and then get into cover and allow your recovery to kick in. So, but you get, you guys know what I mean, my, my other way of healing is going to be picking up orbs. I have to tell you, especially at the boss, there was a couple of hairy moments and, and there was one that, uh, that made me swear out loud. 
out of, sh out of fright. And uh, when we get to that point, I'm, you might know it yourself when you see it. You're like, oh, Jesus. Uh, but one of the ads just, I thought he was dead. And he just came after me. And, like, came into my cover. And he was just, like, right in front of me. I was like, oh, my God. But, uh, listen, the, the strategy is very, very, very similar to the Warlock. Because it's repeatable. And now we're doing it on a different class. You know, it, it's a, I think this is all in. It's about a 38-minute run. The Warlock was about roughly the same, 36, 38. So, you know, the strategy is sound. So I can't, once once we've gotten to this room now, as you can see, you've got security measures deactivated. I spoke a lot about this uh, in the Warlock run, but hey, you might not watch the Warlock run because you're a Titan or a Hunter. I always find that my GMs don't do as well as the other videos, and I, 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 I don't know why that is. Maybe because people are like, well, there's no point in me watching that because I'm not going to solo that. So... Let me know what you think about this sort of content. Because I've always steered clear of doing too many GMs for that reason. You know, if, if there is a, a demand, I'll always try and meet that demand. But if there isn't, then there's no point in me doing them. So, if you do enjoy the GMs, let me know. I, I understand the GMs aren't everybody's cup of tea. They're not mine. I, I think it's almost, we're, we're almost at the point where we don't need them now. But, uh, you know, when, you, when you've when you got something like double double rewards like we have this week, then it is worth getting in here and getting a little bit done. Uh, you'll always have those ads. You see me aiming. I'm trying to get my uh, wall hacks to work on Wish Ender. You'll always get uh, a captain that will hide at the back. The next wave of ads, you can see, we're still on basically the first wave. We had an overload in the first wave. Uh... I'll just throw another grenade in a second here because there's more ads. And then get my thruster going. Now you'll see, uh, obviously we're creating we're creating uh, ionic traces. But just because I used my thruster, it gave me a boost to my grenade regeneration. And then if I used my grenade, that would give me a, a boost to my thruster. So this captain will always kind of hide at the back. Just put two of them on him. He's dead. You, he's the. I always leave him to last so that I know, once I've cleared all the other ads, the 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 ads that kind of swarm into the area, the three uh, dreg with the the solar shotgunny dreg, and then the wave of shanks. I know that once I kill that very last captain, he should be all that's left. That that's going to be the end of that wave, and then we're going to get the second wave. Now the second wave, as you can see, is hive. And your champion, you get champions with each wave. The champion here is this barrier. So I like to keep him in this area. He'll always spawn here. Uh, your the super for the Titan, it's not gonna be the same thing. You know, the, the, the Titan super is a very good super, but it's not gonna do the same damage as as the Warlock super, and that that is because uh the, the Titan Thunder Crash has only ever really been good with when you're when you're running the chest plate, when you're running the Cuirass of the Fallen Star. Uh, and and I was more interested in the abilities because the abilities on the Titan, the neutral game on the Arc Titan, is surprisingly good. And what what, what I mean by that is the Warlock abilities in this game have always been some of the strongest. You get your grenades back faster, your, you know, well, it's like your free healing and, you know, and especially on Arc, you get the Arc Soul. So, so it's, it's, it's not a surprise that, that the Arc Titan, the Arc Warlock is, is a very good subclass. But I am surprised at how good the ambient, the, the neutral game on the Titan is, especially with getting those you know, a whole host of those uh, Ionic Traces which give you ability back. And it's just, it's just very good. And I can't remember the name of the perk because I don't have anything with that perk on it. But there is a perk uh, in the game and leave it in the comments if you know exactly the name of the perk. Uh, you should know by now, sometimes I've got, I get, may, maybe I shouldn't say this, but Old Man Brain. Some, but I genuinely can't remember. I, I don't know if I ever did know the name of this perk. I've only just found out the perk exists. 
There's a perk that increases damage if you pick up Ionic Traces. And, and you know, uh, Fire Sprite and the, the Void one. Uh, if you know what the name of that perk is, can you let me know? Leave it in the... Because I would like to have something with it to test it. I just can't remember the name of it. We were looking at it the other day. Uh, I think somebody dropped it on a weapon, or they were saying they, they they only had it on they had it on a rocket launcher, and I was like, oh, what is that? Uh, so back to the back to the run. Once you've cleared, so that second wave, uh, we got we got what we we got what cap what captain down, and then you've obviously got that heavy duty. Uh, Sniper Vandal at the back. So, once you take him down, you can, you're can. you then going to get Shanks and stuff. The Shanks are... They're what you've got to worry about in this in, in that second... Not worry about, but they're your barometer. Because uh, you'll have probably cleared in most of everything else anyway. Once the Shanks go, that then you're, you're going to get the third wave. The third wave is the wave we've just seen on the screen. And it has two overloads. Now, with the last two waves, you're going to get... You see him up in the back there. You're going to get that sniper shank. So just be careful. If he's hiding where I am now, if you come here, he will come out. And then when you hit him, he'll go, no, no, no. And then he'll be like, oh, no, I'm good. I'm still alive. And he'll come back out. Two headshots with the wish ender probably leave you with nothing left to do on him. Now, you will get... Uh... There'll be some ads. Sometimes they'll go and hide up the back here on the right. You can see there's a drag there. I want them to come down. They're really, sometimes they're really difficult to deal with these ads because they go in ways that you don't like. They don't have very predictable movement. Now, it will say you see there. Locate Sepix Prime to say that this section's over. Just because it says that doesn't mean all the ads are dead. You'll always have those vandals just around the corner there, and you might even have some up on the walkway. It just means the ground ads are dead. So don't just come running out thinking that you're good. Make sure they are gone as well. So when you get to a section, a couple of ads and an overload. Uh, make sure you take, try and take all the ads before you go after the overload because... Just about all these ads do arc, and arc's not, you know, arc is not our friend. I want this last drag. And that's a cool thing about Wish Ender. It's obviously if they're going to cover, you can still track them using Wish Ender. So we'll just take cam, and then... I had a couple of moments in this, this GM. I always push up to about here, and then he teleported the minute I came up, and I was like, Oi, what you doing? So, I'll just get my thruster on so that my, uh... Get my grenade back faster. And now I've got finishable. And obviously my grenade does more damage as well once I use the thruster. Th throw the grenade, thrust your grenade. You'll start regenerating your grenade faster and your grenade will do more damage. So this is the the big open area. This is the... We're going to get a walker tank. We're going to get some... Uh, uh, Briggs... Name nearly went. Name nearly went. You've got a bunch of ads here. You can see we're taking some damage here. Uh, I'm still okay. I'm trying to keep myself more in cover from the open the section to the right. So not where the just to the right of the champion. I just use where linear because the snipers down there. Uh, and you see you, you've seen that shot coming in on me there. Uh, and I got, I got, I got tagged just as I got into cover here, but I know I'm in cover. It was a good tag, but I know I'm in cover from, from, from those, those snipers, so I know I'm cool here. I always like to take these guys on the left first. And that's because where we're going to be doing damage, they, they are going to be throwing grenades up and whatever. So there's about four vandals just here around about this building, right? Once you take them, you, then we work on these uh, resilient vandals. And the reason I like to work on these guys first is because when we're doing damage on the war on, on the tank on the fallen walker tank, they 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 can snipe you from the, from the position they're in, and 
Vandals have this annoying thing where when you hit them, just when you're about to fire again, they'll start dodging. Now, they'll dodge, but then they'll come straight back to the area they were in before. But it's still annoying, so I like to get them out of the way. So there's a whole bunch of ads down the bottom. Again, we do not want to go past uh, the front of this building, just to our left. That building just below us on the left. Just stop this overload and then another grenade thrust what grenade now does more damage and as you can see we're getting what grenade back faster we should have a grenade back when these there we go and as you can see that spyglass does decent damage it really does do good damage uh so last time when we were on the warlock we spent about 60 seconds whatever taking out trying to take out the champion the barrier this time we're not bothering but i'll tell you what happened this time which doesn't normally happen these brigs really got man this brig root here really i don't know if it's because i started firing them immediately take out this lap this vandal but he really got my number here so we'll just again throw the grenade put the thruster on now i was lucky here because i missed the tank Never, never got good contact on it. But what happened was some of the ads ran through the grenade. So it wasn't a waste. What will happen periodically, I'll just get a thruster on, I'm going to throw my grenade in, I'm going to get down because the fallen ship's coming in. You do not want to be on the roof when the fallen ship comes in because their uh, heavy attack is, I mean, if two of them hit you, one hits you, you know, you're going to be in trouble, but if two of them hit you, you're going to be dead. So I'll get my thruster on. Now you can see, I've landed my grenade, and in the time that I was down hiding, the grenade actually damaged the, the tank to the point where it broke him. So I've managed to get my grenade on him there. You can see it eating away its health. Uh, but I'll get my thrust. I forgot to thrust. And that didn't sound right. Uh, I forgot to use my thrust. I know you can see this brig now, he is just on it. He is really aggressive. And even though I'm jumping, he's still hitting me. So I decided what I'm going to do, we're not going to deal with that. We're going to move away. Uh, he, he, went, he went to hide. I decided it's probably best if I try and take this brig out. So he's dodged, so I will get a grenade on him, go back, and then if I keep hitting him, because he's been damaged by my grenade, every every bit of damage I do to him will uh, create an ionic trace. And I can, I've got a heavy brick out there, so I can burn a bit of heavy. Now, you'll have seen on the video what I've got on this linear, but I will say I've, I've got a clown cartridge and vorpal. Vorpal's perfect for uh, this because, there we go, luckily he's turned to the side now, because it does more damage against uh, against vehicles as well as bosses. So we're just going to, we're going to put quite a bit on, try and do as much damage to this walker, and you can see he's got nothing. So I'll thrust to get my grenade, big grenade, and then just start working on his legs. And I think I break him quite quickly. There we go. So that's a walker down. Let's have a look. I'm gonna I think I think I can't remember if I just focus on this uh, on this brig. I think I do. So we want him to go. So because I'm not I wasn't ready to throw my grenade, I'm gonna get him to jump again and then throw my grenade. Which as you can see it's just churning away at him. Normally I leave the brigs, you know, I, and I, the only, my only, the only thing I can think of is because I shot that first brig. There we go, he's broke, so I'm not going to put too many shots because I haven't got a lot of linear. No, I'll, I'll, I'll kill him with Wish Ender. Yeah, I, the only thing I can think of why they were so, why that first brig was so aggressive was because I shot him before, like as soon as he came out I shot him. That's all I can think of. So now we took the walker, we took the two brigs. Now there's a, a bunch of like 
little lads around, we've still got that barrier. The barrier caused me a little bit of problems in this run. Nothing too serious, but just annoy more annoying than anything. So I'm just trying to make sure that I'm not going to be dealing with too many kind of too many ads. Uh, you see there, those marauders. They've luckily they've ran towards the overload, and that's the three marauders dead. There might be another one. I'm just going to use the four, and then we'll stop them again. <clears throat> And there's a ship coming in. Worst timing ever because I'd nearly killed the overload. So uh, that second ship that comes in, it, I don't know. I don't really know why the ship comes because it doesn't do anything. It just flies over. So I'm looking to see if there's because there is something inside me that says there's another Marauder. I've just clocked him behind that rock there, but it turned out it wasn't a Marauder. I don't think it's a Vandal. There he is. So now that's 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 all. I think there is still a Marauder up. Got some heavy. I can't see a Marauder, so now I'm going to go after the barrier. After the barrier, there's still. I'll just take some of these smaller ads. There's there's still a Vandal up. This the reason why this barrier caused me a bit of problems is because he kept going behind there. He kept going behind those. Uh, just get a grenade. I actually threw the grenade too far. Kept going behind here, which it isn't so great to like put consistent damage. I'm trying to take the vandals. This is the longest I think it's took me to take one of these sorts of barriers out. Once I break them again, if if it's if if it's feasible, I'll get a grenade on them couldn't break him so he's back to full health it's just annoying that you know I, maybe it's just me but it's annoying that uh, these sorts of enemies uh, they're, they're bad enough to deal with in the first place but putting them in a, this situation where the minute they feel threatened see he's went straight back behind those and it's, it's not a coincidence that he's teleporting that side he's teleporting behind the cover so luckily, he's teleported away. That will be the end of him now. So once we take this barrier, we're going to head to the right-hand side. Now, I don't know why this happened. Again, I have no explanation for this. But normally, you get another overload, and you get another champion, another arc-shielded captain here, right, right about now. I'll just collect these couple of bits of heavy. I didn't get them. So I'm looking, as this guy here, more heavy, thank you. Looks like it's just us and this overload. And I have no explanation for why I never got the other champions. It never affected my reward drops. I still got good, you know, what I would expect to get. Uh, I can't remember now if, I, if, if it said that I got a platinum, but I got, I got, I, I think I actually got four ascending trials from this run so it might have been three I can't remember three or four so 23 minutes we're at the boss we're on roughly about the same timing as the warlock run so we're going to do exactly the same I'm going to run in here I'm going to see if I can get these two overloads together I didn't manage to do it one just wasn't paying any attention to me, so we're just going to stop him. Grenade, get our thruster on, and then just see what we can get done here with the scout rifle. I've got another. I've got another grenade for the other overload, and there we go. That's one down, and then we'll stop this guy. I have a grenade thruster. No thruster. Always try and get your thruster on. I haven't quite got my, my grenade yet. And I will finish him off the linear. And there we go. And we might we had a brick there. So now what I'm gonna do is as soon as he his shield comes down, 
I'm going to put a heap of linear on them. And you see there's what aggressive captain. Now, what I tried to do here, and it never worked because he ran away, was get the shoulder charge on him. Because the shoulder charge, what it does is, obviously it's arc, so it does a lot of damage, but it also blinds. So it's it's a great little maneuver is to shoulder charge any arc shielded enemies. Uh, I've got my thruster back. Should I need that? Happened. That's right. So see when I said I, I I was like, oh my god. This is not the only time a captain's gonna do that in this run. Just appear in front of me. Except that time, it was quite harmless. The next time, it could have been really bad. I know I've still got uh, ads in this corridor, so grenade thruster, and we've still got a captain over there, I want him dead, sounded a little bit too brutal there, I want him dead, so now I'm just trying to use my wall hacks to see him, he must be quite far away, yep, yeah. so I, I, I want to aggravate him, so you see I'm aggravating him, so he's He's coming, I'll just grenade, thruster, and do enough damage that I can finish him, and then get out of dodge, and there we go. Now as I say, it, I probably went red bar in this run more than I did with the Warlock, simply because, no rift, but the only time I, it, it, it was like a little bit hairy was... And, it, and the reason why it was hairy, we just used this shoulder charge on these two. The only t the only reason it was hairy is because it was it was out of character. Like it wasn't, it hadn't happened before. Uh, right, so we've still got a shank up, and now we've got for some reason the shank just didn't want to play ball. So now we've got bosses went into his cocoon phase. Um, with this, with, with this, and I, I don't think I said this in, in the Warlock run, this is where you get, like, the, the rest of the, the rest of the, I'll just try and get rid of these explosives. The rest of the waves are pretty similar, save for getting some captains. You know, you get marauders and all the good stuff. Uh, but you get explosives in this one, in this wave. So I'll just, I'm just going to throw a need there. I didn't expect him to come charge on me. I, I, I was expecting to drop the, the need on both of them. Just shoot one of these orbs. Gives me my health back. And there's still another one up. So we'll get my wall hacks to see where he is. There he is. He's coming round to the left. So you get these guys. And they're, they're the... They're the dreg that run about with the Lord of Wolves solar shotguns. And you also get Exploder Shanks. I don't think you get them again. You might get Exploder Shanks, although off the top of my head I can't remember. But the rest of the waves are just waves of uh, resilience, resilient uh, dreg and vandals. Uh, you do get a wave with two overloads. Uh, there's and and you get these. I want to say constant, but I don't want it to sound like they're always coming, which is what constant means. But a oh, lovely shoulder charge. <laughs> I'll just not bother with that shoulder charge this time. My Titan had nothing there. He was like, oh, "Gee, come on now." Uh. Yeah, so the rest of the waves are just like resilient, uh, resilient fallen. You get another, another two arc shielded captains. Then you get the overload captain, the two overload captains, which I think in this run might be the fastest I've took the two overloads out ever. And I've done, I've done this on Master and GM quite a few times. Normally, one of them runs. And is the worst to try and cap, like to kill. This time, if I remember correctly, they just both kind of stood there and took it. So, once I break the shield on the very first uh, 
time that he cocoons, I'll use my super. This is our first wave of resilient ads. Now, resilient basically just means yellow bar. Now, the reason why I, I don't like to say yellow bar, and we had this, I had this conversation when I was streaming quite a few times, the difference between yellow bar and orange, because they're not quite yellow, yellows are elites, and I, I class these more as, as, as orange. They're not orange, but they're not yellow. Just throw a grenade in now. Get my thruster on so we can try and get some of this back. That should be just about all of them. If not, there might be some around there. But I think that's just about all the ads. There's one more. And that's him gone. Oh, a little bit heavy. When I say a little bit. Now, at this point, it's worthwhile mentioning because I don't take them out right now. I actually run into them. Uh, there should be four ads underneath us. It's worthwhile. Here's where our invisible marauders. It's worthwhile pointing that out because uh, if you do need to go downstairs, there's more resilient ads. If you do need to go down, it's worthwhile taking those guys out. Now, there's your captain. You see your captains? Which basically means we're going to get a captain just shoulder charge the marauder which will make the rest of them if there's any more there which there normally is yeah. I'll just throw a grenade in there try and take care of a bunch of those and just get my thruster on I'll throw a grenade which will take those shanks out yeah you want to take those downstairs because it can, it, it can really help with heavy should you need heavy and you see here I'm gonna get caught by them those uh, tracer shots and there's where, where uh, our captain now I was thinking at the time where's the other captain I couldn't work out where the other captain was because normally the, the other captain pushes us just go here just see if there's any ammo change sometimes it's it's there's ammo there and I'll shoulder charge I've got to get out of here we're gonna go underneath and this is where I got caught now as you can see when I say I got caught I'm just in a position where I was like whoop but as you can see as long as as long as you're in control of the situation even if you do get hit a couple of times, you can still save the situation if you don't panic. So I just was like, oh, I'm just gonna stay in I'm just gonna stay in cover here. So I'm just gonna I want I want I want to I don't want to dwell on the fact that there's still adds up. Uh we still want to stay on point so we go. You see there? Bit of heavy. We'll take that, we'll take that. I want, I want to get the boss into his cocoon phase. There we go, just take the shanks out. And then, again, you may have noticed me doing this. There's my two overloads. I've stopped one. Just throw a grenade in there to take those ads. I'm not really going for the overloads. I'm trying to take the rest of the ads out because... We'll just deal with him, throw a grenade on him. Now, because he's chaining electricity, he's, he's, he's jolting the other overload. So, because I managed to get a grenade, see how it's... I can now just go between them now. And now I can... That's, this could be the fastest I've managed to take these two overloads out. And then I'll throw a grenade. And that's all she wrote. That's the two overloads down. Nothing else up. So now I can start working on these little... The, the, the little servitors. Now, what I would suggest with these is... As long as... It, so you're looking out this window. As long as there are no ads... Uh, popping tracer shots or whatever. You know. I'm just going to throw a grenade up there. I might as well. Just to help with maybe chaining some damage. You see how it, you can see it chaining. 
didn't really do that much. But now we've got now we've got shanks. You will get these shanks periodically, uh, as I've said. They're, they're not infinite, but every every so often, in between your bigger waves of ads, you'll get these guys. Uh, just get a shoulder charge on these, and that takes care of those. If even if what, what I was saying about the these uh, these guys is if. There's still an overload up, and he goes into hiding. Just leave him. Take a couple of these guys out, because that's less incoming fire on your position. You know, and that that's that's got to be the main thing. Is to just go and get that heavy. That's got to be the most important thing. Is to make sure that your position, which is here, is is a you know is 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 sustainable. Is that your cover is sustainable? Now, here we go, that's the last of them, so what I'm going to do here is just put a heap of linear on, and then get back into cover. Now we'll just go to the front, big grenade, we still haven't had the scare moment yet. What happens is one of these captains just comes up and just he must have come up behind me. I didn't expect it because it's n it never happened. You know, it's not something that's happened a ton. You know, it happened last time once. That's the first time it had ever happened like that. And luckily, when it did happen. Uh, I had, I think I had my, my shoulder charge, which which saved me, really. I think it was the shoulder charge I had. I'll just take out the last of those guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure this, I, I'm pretty sure I do have that moment with the captain. Maybe I didn't, maybe that was enough, because I've done a few runs on the Titan trying to just work out the best way to do stuff. There's a Marauder. So, is this where it happens? Because I was like, Jesus, there's a Marauder. Ah, yeah, because now the next wave of ads have come in. And a captain, I'm pretty sure a captain comes up from behind me. It, it was crazy, whatever it was. It made me go, oh my god. What's going on? Shoot his foot. Shoot this Marauder's foot. Throw that out there. Get with thruster. Sometimes, sometimes I don't thrust because uh, I've jolted enemies. So it's more important to keep hitting the jolted enemies to to share that electricity, share that lightning effect. There's there's the other captain. There. I was like, what the hell? You see me not actually react to start with. The shoulder charge saved me because it blinds them. That was crazy. I, I it did scare me. Like I got a, I got I got a fright when I realised it was a cat. <laughs> oh, that was crazy. So that grenade has just about cleared all m most of the big enemies, and I'll throw one at the back there. So just got this captain, and luckily this captain didn't want to run and hide. And that should be it. You just make sure there are no enemies out that can do arc damage throw that in there I think there's one more yeah I think he goes inside and I kill him here shoulder charge and then it's all on the boss and I think what I'm gonna do here which is what I like to do I've got I've, I've get his health down to about there and then super and that's the end of it Save your super to when the boss has got less than about a percent of health. And you see there are four ascendant shards. I'm, I'm, I've got platinum. I have no idea why that champion and the captain never came out in the big area, in the walk, fallen walker area, but it didn't affect the run at all. So there you go, guys. That is the Titan run. Not too bad, 38 minutes. Just make sure you're getting your, your grenades and your abilities back fast and stay safe and hope no captains come up behind you. 
Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the run, and I'll see you guys in the next video.